to you. And a good evening to you, Nathaniel. It has been a little, as you would term it, hectic for us to arrange this because there are special people who would like to use the body of the medium. And I am, as you would term it, warming up the body uh, to see uh, if this is possible. Nathaniel was a spirit who often spoke when Carl was in a trance state. The phrase, always stated in a British accent, a jolly good evening, was his calling card, which immediately told us his identity. During his physical life, Nathaniel lived in Britain and often came to teach us philosophy and to answer our questions. Nathaniel also had another job. As he spoke through Carl, the spirit chemist adjusted Carl's vibration to a higher frequency so he could make contact with spirits vibrating on a frequency higher than Nathaniel. Awan was one of those spirits, and the spirit about to speak through Carl also needed Carl's frequency adjusted to a higher vibration. As the body itself, as our medium, has not been physically well, therefore we do not want to tax the body any more than we can help. Okay. The thing that we would like to get across to you tonight is the knowledge that you people need to know dealing with, as you term it, UFOs and the people in the unseen side of life. Greetings, my friend. Greetings. It is a pleasure that I come here to you at this time for I have not used the body of this man before. Although I have stood by and worked with the chemists that do use the body, and I feel at this time that uh, I can, to some extent, uh, bring about a message to you that you really need to know. Thank you. If you were going to call me by name, I would suggest that you use the name Rosser. Rosser? Rosser. That is not that is not the name that in my old language that we use, but it is a name that would be easier for you to use. Okay. And I am trying to speak the terms that you would understand in your language. You're doing very well. The program that you watched on your uh, machine only a little while ago in your time in counting, they have for many years tried to figure out who it is and what it is and what's going on. You see, the reason that I'm coming to talk to you through this man is because he has been open uh, to the other worlds for a long time, actually for his whole life and the lives before this one. Yes. So therefore, he never allowed any of the mind control uh, to really control him like others have been controlled. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Now, you have, or I should say, he has, in his possession material that you have seen, but you have still not uh, tried to understand how it all works. We are return, uh, We are speaking here of a, a uh, small training, shall we call it, of um, something that happened in another country and it was another man similar to this man who had experiences and his name was Matthew. Okay. Are you getting the, uh, are you picking up on who we are referring to? Matthew Manning? That is correct. Okay. Matthew Manning was not under any kind of mind control. 
he was very open. He was a very heavy thinker. And spirit was trying to get to him because he was sent back to the planet through the birth canal to become an instrument, as you term it, a medium. Yes. To bring truth to the people. Now, you wonder how these people and we're talking about myself at the moment because I'm invisible to you. Yes. I walked through the walls, well, which they don't even exist as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. I walked through the walls, stood next to the medium, and told him it was a good time to explain something. Okay. The world that I live in is absolutely invisible to your physical eyes. Yes. It is not invisible to ours. Mm -hmm. Your body, the, phys the, the spiritual body that you have within the physical body, the eyes open the moment that your heart stops and your body is called dead. Yes. You have eyes to see, ears to hear. You have all your senses, and that's the way I am. Mm -hmm. The man that we mentioned, Matthew, yes. if you will study the recording which is on your system, yes. you will notice that at times there were things that were thrown through the air yes. without any human being there to do it. Yes. There was knives pieces of cutlery, mm -hmm. chains, and all types of things, but never hitting anyone, but going very close to them, yes. hitting the walls. Right. Well, this is the dormitory that I'd slept in with 25 other boys, and in actual fact, this is the very bed that I slept in. And frequently, this bed would move. You can see it's a very heavy bed, and it would move over to the beds over there. There were lights that appeared on the wall, and the wall, if touched, was warm. Uh, there were sudden showers of um, extraordinary items, bits of broken glass, bits of chain, bits of cutlery, which would descend uh, sometimes in the dormitory, sometimes in the changing room, with a cloud of witnesses. Uh, in his study, the radio or the record player would get mysteriously switched on or off, by no apparent human agency, books would move and so on. And I think we were all satisfied that something quite inexplicable, rationally, was, was happening. I was in the same dormitory as Matthew, and we had some very unusual experiences happening. Um, I remember one particular time, a friend of mine was uh, getting rather annoyed with some people over the other side of the dormitory who were talking, and we couldn't get to sleep. He decided to creep up onto this chap and to well, in typical schoolboy fashion, attack him. And he was just about to do this when suddenly this plate seemed to appear from the ceiling and just crashed to the ground. Stop and think. How could anyone have the force to do that unless it was a person that was absolutely unseen by those in the midst? Okay. We are unseen. We have been creating many things to communicate with your planet. Mm -hmm. The crop circles that you see, we create them. We cannot afford, as you know that term to be, to be seen mm -hmm. because we would be destroyed by the powers that you have on your planet because your whole planet and the civilization on it are warring people. Mm -hmm. They're warring people because of the mind control that they have been programmed with and the religions on your planet. Yes. We are afraid of you people. This is why we do not allow ourselves to be seen. Mm -hmm. Although we can see you very well, we can see you as if we were in physical form. 
and we can see you from further away than you can imagine. Okay. We watch you closely. I am in the higher regions of what you term the spirit world. Okay. You have heard of ascended masters. Yes. Ascended masters are ones who learn all the knowledge that we possess in our dimensions. Okay, yeah. And therefore we are able to graduate to the higher levels. This is why we are called the Ascended Masters. Yes. We have, for a longer time than you can even imagine, trying to bring knowledge to your planet. Okay. We have great enemies on your planet, and it is the ones that you call religions. Mm -hmm. They keep people's minds closed, that they control the people's mind. Therefore, anything that happens to the people, such as the time we witnessed it only a few days ago in your time in counting, when you were with a man who was supposed to have been a man of the cloth, Yes. He wasn't even willing to listen to what you had to say. That's right. Carl and I made an appointment to speak with a pastor of a church in Charleston, South Carolina. The name of the church led us to believe it would be open to psychic phenomena and mediumship. We wanted to share our pictures of Jesus and Awan that we received from spirit through mediumship when Hoyt Ramanep demonstrated his gift of precipitated art. Immediately upon realizing that we were talking about mediumship, the pastor escorted us out of the church. He would not even listen to another word we had to say. Therefore, he is still carrying out the training that he learned. Yes. And using your terms, it's a continuation of the same thing mm -hmm. all the time. Yes keeping the people brainwashed, as you use that term, the same old, same old. Yes. And you know what I'm saying. Yes. Your world lives in ignorance. And as we see it, your world will come to an end unless something changes. This man, whose body I'm using at the moment to bring you this message, has been putting himself in harm's way for quite some time. You already know that. Yeah. We have other things for him to do, but he will be planting seeds of truth in the minds of the people, but it will be a slower process than he wants to deal with, however. Mm -hmm. But we will still continue to urge him onward and get the message, the seeds, as he calls it, planted, and the lamps to be lit in the minds of the people whose lamps have gone out. Yes. Your world is in a terrible condition, yes. simply because of the religions and how man's mind has been changed to think that there is one person that can handle it all, do it all. It has to be the people, not a man they call God. Okay. There's been many teachers that have come to the planet to teach the people. And yet after they left and came back to my kingdom, their teaching was changed. Yes. The words were changed by people you call priests. And it was changed to continue carry out the mind control system yes. that was created a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Now, there are other planetary systems that inhabit people. Yes. Very advanced people. And they are not at all like the people on your planet because they do not have religions. Mm -hmm. 
these are advanced people and they fly aero ships and they come into your atmosphere quite often. But they are so advanced, they have the ability to make themselves invisible okay. and then make themselves visible. They come to your planet often, they walk your streets, they appear in large groups and they can disappear instantly. Okay. They have done everything possible to get the people on your planet to wake up. We have been, as you know the term, the wind at the back of the man who is now talking to you. Yes. Or at least the man I am using to talk to you. Mm -hmm. There have been times that he wanted to throw in the towel, as you know the term, and just give up on the whole thing. But he's never given up, and he will never give up. We have kept the body alive because of the period that he went through, the physical period not too long ago in your time in county. Yes. And he still has quite a ways to go before he's able to create what he came back to create. Okay. Your world, as we have spoken about, is in dire straits. People are killing each other in the name of religion and in the name of God. Yes. If this type of mind control was eliminated and people understand the truth, there would be no wars and there would be no hatred amongst the people. Mm -hmm. Going all the way back in your count of years, there's been many things that happened on your planet that we did. Yes. We built the landing platforms for our ships. We built what you would term pyramids. Mm -hmm. And the pyramids were beacons, as you know that term, for our airships. We have done so many things. Your scientists are not interested in why crop circles are appearing all over your planet. We would not allow ourselves to be seen while we were doing a crop circle. Mm -hmm. And very few people on your planet even realize that we do crop circles in such a way there is no living human being on your planet that can do any such work as we do. Could I ask how you do how you make them? Is is it like a physical thing or or is it a thought? We do it with thought, which is something that people on your planet don't even know what that's all about. Mm -hmm. They barely just breathe and keep the body alive, <laughs> but they don't know anything about it. They don't realize that inside of them is another body, and that body is what you term God. But your religions have put that God out there in space somewhere. Yes. Well, I've got news for you and all the rest of the people on your planet. I am from space, and there is no God out here that they're talking about. None whatsoever. Okay. We are all gods. There is no big man out here that do all of these things. Yes. It's a sin, as we look at it, what they're teaching the people on your planet. And yet, if it was turned around and people started understanding it's more important to cultivate a mind than it is to create money and put away in a bank, mm -hmm. we 
we've done everything that we could think of, and there are other things that we are working on to try to get through to the people on your planet. That we are alive and well, and we can make ourselves seen and unseen. Yes. We only hope that there will be more people like yourself that opens up and thinks for themselves and stop worshiping some imaginary God that's supposed to be out here in space. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of us out here in space, but we're not gods as you term it. We are people, but we have gone beyond being just the physical self. I couldn't even put in your words an understanding that you would really understand how advanced we are. Well, if I could ask you a question, you said that you're an ascended master. Have you lived in, on these other planets that are inhabited by the advanced beings? I have lived on more planets than you can count. How, at what point do you get to live on those planets? When you reach the point of absolute knowingness. So in other words, when, when you hit, hit that seventh level called the Godhead and you, and you qualify to reside there, then, then you can choose to have experiences on other planets and other, other galaxies. You are able to travel as fast as light. I see. And think of another planet and you're there. It's very hard for anyone on your planet to understand that. So then the people that are what we call aliens, the people that are in these spaceships, are all ascended masters? They are all ascended masters. Wow. Coming back to this ignorant planet, trying to get a message through. And yet, the ones that have been trying to find out who we are are coming at us with guns and bombs. How did we get to be so afraid of these people? It was created through what you term propaganda. Propaganda runs rampant all over your planet. All you have to do is think about it. If you listen, this man was directed by us to go to the city called Roma. And while he was there, he was directed to go to the other independent country, which is a religion, and visit the Vatican. And in doing so, he was able to see and experience many things, even to seeing a sign over a door that said, it spelt it right out. Ministry of Propaganda. Ministry of Propaganda. Mm -hmm. Or Office of Propaganda is one of the two. Mm -hmm. And we have heard him speak about it in this very country, how could anyone have the, go the, the gall or the nerve to put that sign over a door? Because propaganda is nothing but created lies. And the religions on the planet are nothing but lies created way back. And as the great teacher came to the world, back in the middle of your year of 70s and explained that it is all recycled ignorance. We yes. were there. We heard what he said. Yes. Recycled ignorance. Mm -hmm. Don't let anyone turn you back towards the ignorance of religions. Go forward 
and know that you are more than just a flesh body. You are a spirit body in a flesh body. Learn as much as you can because whatever you learn, you can take with you. It is stored in the modus operandi of your body, which is your soul. And your soul cannot be destroyed. It is a forever source. Okay. I am going to depart from this body because I do not want to overuse it. May we share this, your message with other people, like on our TV show? You may do so. Thank you very much. Thank you for speaking with us.